Today I'm making little figure earrings using the Beadalon Cone-tastic tool. What you're going to need for this project is 20 and 18 gauge wire. You'll need the tool. I'm using the hourglass mandrels. You'll need regular tools, earring hooks, and a variety of beads. So we're going to take the tool and you can open up the end and you'll see inside is stored all of the mandrels and the Allen's key to loosen up the bits at the end. So I'm going to remove the regular ones that come with the kit and close up the handle to store them inside. And for this project, I'm using the hourglass mandrels. So I'll put the first one in, tighten it up so it's secure. And you'll see there's a second bit that screws into the end to form an hourglass shape. So once it's set up, I'm going to get some 20 gauge wire. You put the end in the hole at the end of the mandrel and wind it around the mandrel. Now you could either rotate the handle to wind the wire or wind the wire with the hand that's holding the wire. So just wind it around up to the middle and then a little further to form the hourglass shape. From there, we're going to clip the end and then clip the other end and you unscrew the top mandrel and then you can remove the spring. You could squeeze it together a little bit depending on how tightly you've wrapped it. And then we're going to take our fine round nose pliers and just bend the little end inside to hide the end. Now if you want to just do half of the mandrel you can do that too. See this is the other method where you rotate the handle of the tool to form the coil. I'm just going to do the rest with the other hand, wind it right up to the middle and then we can remove the other bit. This is going to form a kind of skirt. If you use the full hourglass, it could make like a little dress. So remove it, clip the ends, make sure the ends are flush. And then this one, I'm just going to take the end and pop it inside to hide the end. And with the top end, we're going to rotate it in to form a loop. So just using our small round nose pliers, take the end and rotate it so it's centered at the top there. Do any adjustments that you need. And now I'm going to get another wire, could be 18 or 20 gauge wire, and make a little loop at the bottom. And then we're going to get another wire and do a loop. This is 20 gauge. So we're going to do a little loop there and then make another one. These ones are for the arms. I just am using a contrasting color that's gold. And then the other thing you can do as an alternative is just get a couple of head pins and put beads on the end. So you could do arms either way or legs. And then now we're going to turn the end into a loop and for the other one, just turn the end into a little loop, center that loop. So bring it around and back. So there we've got two little matching legs and now we're going to hook those onto our base wire. So hook one on there. And then get the other one, open it up, and hook it onto 
the base wire. So once we have the legs on there, we're going to put our coil and then I'm putting a six millimeter miracle bead for the body. Now get your fine round nose pliers. We're going to do a little loop to either side. It's going to look like a figure eight or an infinity sign. These are going to be to dangle the arms. So we're just going to do a loop to one side. Adjust it as you need and the loop to the other side. So it's really like a little figure eight or infinity sign. Squeeze it a little bit with your flat pliers to get them a little more flat. And now I'm gonna put on an eight millimeter pearl bead for the head. Clip the end to about half an inch. Take our round pliers Hold the end and wind it around to make a loop. So that's the top loop there. And now we're going to do the arms. So we're just going to hook it on to one side. So there's one arm and then we'll do the other one. and back to center that loop, hook it on. These are the contrasting gold arms with no beads. There's many possibilities for this project. So that's with the arms and then you can rotate them a little bit to make sure the loops are in the position you want. So there she is with her gold arms. And now to do the hair, I'm getting 22 gauge wire. You can use 24. It's a gold color, a contrasting color. So I'm just going to wind it around at the base of the loop and then wind it through so it's not going to wiggle it around. And again, on the other side, take the end and loop it through. This is probably easier with 24 gauge wire depending on the size of your little figure. So there we've got the hair. And to make it curly, get a bigger piece of wire, 18 gauge, or sometimes I use the um, 16 gauge if you want bigger loops and wind it around into a coil. Remove the coil and do the same on the other side. Just wind it around to make her have curly hair. And then we're going to just straighten it out a little bit. Maybe make the coils a little more even. Remove the wire. And then we'll clip the end. Let's give her a little haircut cut the end flush and then from there we can get our round pliers just to tuck that little end in so it's not scratchy. And now we're going to push the hair down to either side of the bead. Just position it in place how you like wiggle it around so it's nicely centered. So there's our little figure. And if you prefer to do the arms with beads, just get the head pins, clip the end. Make sure you clip them the same length and wind the end and back to center the loop. And then I decided to remove the gold ones and put on the ones with the beads. Just to have a few more beads on there. Close up the end. 
and it looks really cute with the contrasting bead. And then I do the same on the other side. Just slip on that other head pin. The head pins work really well with this project. Get an earring hook, open it up, pop on your little figure. And there you have your super cute bead and wire figure earrings made with the Beadalon Contastic tool. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.